part 16, part 16, this is part 16. Actually, they just celebrated the anniversary, I think, of one of my favorite all-time Doctor Who serials, Delta and the Bannerman. Delta and the Bannerman, I don't know that. That was an early Sylvester McCoy story from 1987. Right. Uh, he shows up on a toll booth and ends up like the 10 billionth customer. Yeah. So, his grand prize is a trip back to England in 1959. And rock and roll. So he sends Bonnie Langford's character back there already. He jumps in the TARDIS, and then he's got to deal with this alien queen who lands on the planet and hatches the next her daughter as a princess. <coughs> and then has to deal with a war and a couple of wars and stuff like that in the middle of this crazy situation. Right. Family three. Kind of, sort of, maybe. To me personally, it's my, I think it's still my favorite Sylvester McCoy Doctor Who episode ever. Yeah. The family was the family three. That was that, that was a very good David Tennant section. Was that the one where he went back in time as the um, schoolmaster? Yes. That was based on a Sylvester McCoy book, actually. Was it? Yes. They wrote that. They wrote that novel with Sylvester McCoy's doctor as the as tenants. Yep. Yes. But he actually fell in love with the, the teacher, the schoolmaster, the the schoolmistress. Yes. But then now the the, the family three they uh, uh -huh. they made all the straw men scarecrows come alive. Yes. And start attacking. Yeah, that was that was that was really good. That oh yes. Yeah, he kept that uh, pocket watch, and then uh, the kid, his name now. Yes, I remember that one. Yes, now I remember. It's been a while since I've seen that uh, one. Yeah, but he put his essence inside that pocket watch. Yes, of course. Affirmative. So they couldn't find him. Yes. Fantastic. But, yeah, but that kid uh, had a whole, he looked into the pocket watch, and he got a glimpse of, of time. Yes. The World War II episode with Christopher Eccleston is another favorite of mine. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Dances and... Oh, crap. I can't remember that. I can't remember the other episode. Empty Child Doctor Dances. That's the one. What was that one about? That one was set during World War II, actually. He goes back in time. And it's like, and it's the first appearance of Doctor Jack Hart or Jack Hartness, Captain Jack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, one of the greats, probably, probably the most suspenseful uh -huh. uh, series on Doctor Who was uh, the uh, the Weeping Angels. Uh, very, very suspenseful. Kind of, kind of hit or miss for me. Yes. A blink. A blink. Go away. I really get turned into stone. 